Greetings again, guys. Okay, <clears throat> prepping topic. There you go. Not politics for a change. <clears throat> it's finally got warm enough out here. It's about 51 degrees right now where I can put my ram pump in. And this is a something that you might want to consider, especially if you've got flowing water somewhere on your property. Because moving water is going to be a challenge. And again, for me, I'm going to use it for filling the pond, which then, of course, in using it for filling the pond, then I can use it to water my gardens. And I'm using fertilized water at that point because it would have all the fish excrement in it or any of the other bio material that has composted at the bottom. It's like, you know what a pond water is like. It's not clear crystal tap water. Okay, so you've got those organic materials in it. Let's say you want to water your animals or fill IBC totes or anything. You know, I've got an IBC tote. It's 250 gallons. I ain't carrying that around, so I'd have to haul water to fill that over and over and over again. Well, the whole point of a ram pump is to move water without power, specifically mechanically, using water pressure to help move the water. So I built one of these, okay, and as you can see it here, stand it up so you see what it looks like, okay, there's the pump, so down here on the bottom is the input and up there the red handle is the output a couple of valves in there and then i've got a pressure chamber up top that for my uh, elevation and distance is 31 inches Inside there is also a bicycle inner tube, kind of inflated, to help with the pressure and have an air pocket in there so this doesn't all just fill with water and then shut off. Okay, So, my challenge, of course, here, and this is what I have to do, I've got to raise water 85 feet from the source up to my pond over a distance of 550 feet, okay? So, I mean, I'm pushing water uphill a long distance. Yes, you've got to go do all the math and figure out how much drop you need from your head, you know, how much head you need, you know, from where the water's coming into your pipe down to your pump. Okay. So there's the pump, and as you can see, it's working completely on its own. The wastewater coming out the check valve there, and that's what creates the pressure in this tube, which is 31 inches high with an inner tube in about the top seven inches. But the water is fed, and I'll show you how long this is. This tube is coming down the stream. Okay, and it's only one inch pipe. This is our test to make sure it works. And then I'm going to show you this. And there, on the back side where the valve is, that's the outlet. That's running up to the pond. And I don't know if you can tell just the height I've got to get up there. But we'll take that ride. But I want to show you the length of the drive pipe that I have, the incoming water, here first. All right, so as you can see back there, there's the pump. It's about, oh, 10 yards behind me. And then we're going to follow this drive pipe all the way up to the head. And show you what, how much I got to go here.
is my inlet. <laughs> so that is about 240 feet of pipe. And it's not necessarily the length that I had to worry about. I had to figure out my length based on the drop that I had so I can get enough pressure built up back in the pump to drive this water. Because as I told you before, I've got to drive this uphill 85 feet and over a distance of 550 feet. So mathematical calculations to do it, but we'll go take a look at that and you'll see what I mean. Okay, again, so I'm back over on this end and now I am about the 10 yards away from the pump again. And we are going to start climbing that hill. And so I gotta go around, I can't go through the woods. So let's go take that. Okay, maybe if we're lucky, you can see down there, the stream running through all the trees and stuff like that. I can't even see the pump down there. But what we are doing is we are running, if you look in there, you're gonna see some blue hose. So let's follow that all the way to the end. Here is the outlet in the pond. And you can see there at the end of the hose, it is pumping water up 85 feet over a distance of 550 feet. It ain't gonna be anything fast. If you're trying to fill up, fill up an IBC tote at 250 gallons, okay, that'll take you 30 hours to do this. Yeah, not bad. What are my plans going forward? I'm probably gonna use, change this out into a three inch drive pipe down there, get three times the pressure. And all right, then if I'm pulling three times the water, potentially 36 ounces a minute, it's okay. Now I'm pulling 400 gallons a day. Now we're talking about having some water. Doing this without power over a long distance, yeah. It's a way that I can get water to the house another way besides my solar on my water pump. If something happens, that stream flows all year. The only time I got to take it out is the winter when it gets too cold because then the pump freezes. But believe it or not, guys, it's finally warm enough. I was able to get this thing out. We've talked about this forever and it works. So just wanted to show you that. Have a good afternoon. Pinball out.